Okay, so I have my ingredients here. We're going to be doing a um, cream spinach and we're going to be doing a um, Mexican dish with pork and um, I have my rotel, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, my onions. Um, we have the spinach, the cream, it's heavy cream, the pork, I have the black pepper, and we have the Cajun seasoning and salt, a little bit of olive oil, and I have a cup of rice, and one fourth cup of water. Alright, so we're going to begin. You know, oh, and I have a baking dish. We're going to be baking in the oven. Okay, I'm going to begin with two cups of water to start with. And actually, it is a cup and a fourth of water. This is a cup, fourth of water. Okay. And then I am going to add, I'm going to add my one cup of rice. And I'm going to add a couple teaspoons, actually it's a tablespoon, I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of chicken bouillon. And I'm going to stir this up. Then I'm going to add my one can of Rotel tomatoes. And I'm using the off-brand of Aldi's, but you, it doesn't matter. I just use the original. All right, so I'm going to add in my cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. Now the reason why I chose to use uh, the pork was because we've been having a lot of chicken and I need to use my pork up. So I figured why not. And I think it'd be just as good. Now I did get some Cajun seasoning out and I'm just going to put like a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. About a pinch, maybe. Not gonna add too much. It's about a teaspoon. I don't want it to overwhelm because we're already using the um, rotel. I want to give it a little bit more flavor. Now I am gonna use a little bit of olive oil because we are using rice, and I know there's a lot of liquid already, but the olive oil will help. And that's probably about a teaspoon tablespoon. All right, we're going to mix this up and it's not heated, so it's clumpy right now, but it will calm down. I know we already have Rotel tomatoes in here, but I wanted to add a little bit more onion. And then we're going to add, I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper. And then, I don't know if you know this or not, but for pork, you have to rinse it off before you use it. That's the rule. So I've already um, diced my pork up and um, I went ahead and rinsed it. And I'm gonna place it. And it's probably about a pound or two. I just, uh... Go ahead and add just a little bit left of the 
Cajun seasoning on top. It's still part of that. This is about a tablespoon. So I have left in the cup. And then of course I will you can take it between 350 and 400 depending on your oven. And I'm going to do mine at four. All right, so what I've done for my cream spinach is, is um, as you can see, I have my cast iron skillet and I drizzled some olive oil in it. It's probably about uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. Then I added uh, about a good heaping tablespoon of butter. Then once that melted and started melting down a little bit, I used the um, onions and garlic and I let that simmer for a few minutes. And then I added two bags of spinach. Then once I added the two bags of spinach, um, I used a dollop of butter on top of it that I had left in my little ramekin. And then I sprinkled some salt on top of it and then I put the lid on it. And then I cooked it uh, probably for about 25, not even 20 minutes and I let it simmer down. And once it simmered and it cooked and everything got really good and hot, I turned it on low. Uh, and then I added my heavy cream. In the, I would say about a quarter cup of heavy cream I added. And I salted again later after I added the heavy cream. And then I tasted it. Uh, and then I would just salt it uh, to taste. I would just keep tasting until it's to you what you prefer. You don't have to, you can add whatever you want, like if you want to add less salt, more pepper, less butter, it's up to you. But this is my acknowledgement today. Perfect. 